Hi guys and welcome back to the channel. So today we have a new camera from Runcam. It's called the Runcam Micro Sparrow 2. Now we've all come to love the Runcam Micro Sparrows, especially myself, the first version. I really love it. It's just awesome. I've been on a couple of my micro builds and um, it's the kind of small micro camera I usually end up going to. For me, it actually depends on price. Now some will be obviously faster, some will have better quality and um, some just have more options. So this one is just recently released. Um, I don't know how long, maybe a month ago or so. Uh, it's pretty cool. It's It takes a 5 to 36 volt input and it could do your battery monitoring. So let's just say, for example, your micro quadcopter didn't have an OSD. You can just give this direct power from the battery and uh, it has an inbuilt OSD, which will help you keep track of your voltage so you don't ruin your batteries. So that's one nice little feature. Obviously, another feature what they've done here is they've reduced the footprint. So it's actually smaller than the previous one. It's noticeably smaller. And uh, I really like that. And obviously, some of the weight is shed down. But, you know, the lens has dropped. But if I, if looking at it right here, what I see is the plastic also shrunk down. Now, I prefer a little bit more plastic to protect the components of the board um, a little bit better. Unless it's some kind of conformal coated, but it, it seems like it has a shine, but at the same time, I really can't tell. So uh, that's something to take note of here. So what do they provide you with? They give you the wires which split off for the OSD control here. So you can do your, you, know, you put your name and all that kind of OSD stuff. And it, this is a four by three. It's not switchable and it's a CMOS camera, but this is where it gets interesting. I have some of the other newer micros from Foxier and stuff coming along and we're going to do a latency shootout for all the micros. So the thing is what I want to know here is if they're, are they using a rolling shutter kind of like what they did with the Cadex. The Cadex was just insanely fast. Uh, I'm just, I just, I just don't know what to put it on just yet. I want to make like the lowest latency quad on the planet from testing. So that's why I haven't used that one in a build, but this one is, is overall pretty nice. I mean, what's the price of it? It's it's a little expensive, thirty five dollars. Um, so yeah, take that into consideration. It's obviously smaller. Let's actually get some of its dimensions here, and get an idea of how how small this thing is. All right. So let's just go ahead and check the width here. The width is nineteen millimeters, and the height I think is going to be the same. Yeah, 19 millimeters. And let's see the overall footprint that it's taking. Now we're gonna take it from the board to the lens. It's around, let's just see, cause you have that little protecting cover and I don't wanna scratch the lens here. We can say around 17 millimeters. So it's, it's about 17 millimeters from here to here. And with this, obviously it's gonna increase quite a bit. So let's just get an idea here. And we're just gonna do it like this here. There we go. Say 18.25 millimeters. So that's from the edge of the connector here to this uh, lens right there. So the lens is obviously smaller, but there's something very important about these. I've broken already two Runcam micros. Why? For some reason, it was out of focus. I went to just focusing in a little bit, but you know, I was I was pushing against this screw, which obviously you're not supposed to. But I thought I would just give it that little extra tight. Pop that off. Now it'll no, no longer hold this screw here, uh, which is what keeps the camera in place because the camera has threads and this screw has threads. And then this is supposed to hold push back. So you, this can't, so this won't have much play. And what I had to do is super glue them, which is very annoying. And it just makes it look absolutely terrible. So be very delicate with these lenses. They're not very strong and you could easily break this piece and you'll never have a focused camera again because of the vibrations. It'll just keep coming loose unless you figure out a way or find a spare. So that's something very important to take note of here. Um, overall, the build quality looks good. I mean, it's run cam. What do you expect? And um, yeah, it's pretty nice one. Um, that's all I could really say at the current moment of time. Uh, it is a 4 by 3 it's a 700 TVL line. And I'm just waiting for the rest of the micros to come in. And we're just going to do a latency shootout. And then see how well each of them do. And that's going to conclude it for this video, guys. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. And if you guys have any questions or any suggestions, feel free to let me know. And I will see you next time. See you guys. Take care.